Hey, YouTube theologians, Pastor Wolfmiller here. It's been a wild media day today, but early this morning I was with Pastor Apple talking about Habakkuk 2 on Sharper Iron on KFUO. And one of the things that we were talking about is how there's two layers of ignorance under which the the pagan, as we were talking especially about the Babylonians, hide themselves. That idea came up again in Worldwide Bible Class. You can watch the whole episode, I mean the whole Bible class uh, on another video, but I wanted to pull out that little illustration of the two layers of ignorance under which the unbeliever finds themselves and how rebirth is coming out of those two layers of ignorance. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this idea. You can post those in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much. I uh, hope you enjoy it. But we were talking about um, the two layers of ignorance under which the world is deluded. And and I have, in my own imagination, this picture of the Matrix. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but where Neo wakes up and he's in this pod and he has to press through this sort of film and come out of it like this. There's these two layers of film under which we are, under which we are um, kind of trapped. And we have, to, we're, we have to press through both of them. And this is our... This is our birth. This is our rebirth. And there's and these two layers of film are two layers of ignorance. The first is the ignorance of God's law, God's justice, or God's judgment. Uh, and then the second layer that we have to press through is God's kindness and mercy, the layer of the of the gospel. And so, so the 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 unbeliever is trapped in this in this double ignorance. They don't know God's law. They think, "Oh, I'm a good person," or "There is no right or wrong," or "There's no judgment at the end of this life," or whatever. That's false. I'm not guilty. I I mean, however you want to put it, that there's that ignorance of God's law. It's we were talking about this this morning because the Babylonian kings had this idea of. They were tyrants, and they thought they were above everything, that there was no judgment for them. And this is true also for our own world, is that there's people who think that there's no judgment or no justice for them, that they are the Lord of everything. I was thinking about this with, um, uh, oh yes, Jeffrey Epstein, who was killed or, I mean, by, by someone, by himself or someone, in prison. And I was thinking about that, that that if you do not have the idea of divine judgment and justice after this life, if you just are a pagan person who thinks that there is nothing, that to die is to die, then there's a stopgap on how bad things can get because you can do all sorts of wicked whatever. You can maximize your capacity for wickedness in this life, and then when you're caught, you just end it all. And that's it. So, so, there's no, so they reject the idea of, of judgment, justice, of God sitting on the throne and so forth, and that the, then that but so that so that God is so this is the throne. They're ignorant of the throne of God. This is an amazing thing to think about. There's a Psalm two: Come, let us break their bonds, and they're and they're also ignorant then of the cross, of the kindness of God, of the mercy of God in Christ. And so we're trapped under these this double layer of ignorance, and repentance is bursting through both of these things. So that the first part of repentance, let's get a different color over here. The first part of contrition of, of repentance is contrition, and that is to realize here that I'm a sinner, that there is that God is in heaven, and so forth. And then and then the second part of contrition or the second part of repentance is faith is trusting in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that this is a this is a rebirth. It's what it means to be reborn. It's to know these two truths. It's also what it means to be enlightened. Uh, the, to, to, to have the light of Christ shine on us, to know these things which cannot otherwise be known. It is the law and gospel is what it is. So um, so that this is necessary, so that we're no longer trapped under the death of, uh, of this kind of 
soul-destroying double layer of ignorance. I don't know if that, that's just, I'm, I'm just working through this picture here, so hopefully that's helpful. I'd love to hear what you guys thought. So Jesus says, this is necessary for you to be born from above. You don't actually see the kingdom. You, you know, you saw, you see me doing miracles, but you don't truly yet see the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is only visible to the children of God. And that kind of sight is only available through repentance. That is new birth. Worldwide Bible class is a lot of fun. So every Wednesday morning, 10 o'clock Texas time, you can we do it on Zoom, so you can join us that way. Or um, you can watch it, you know, all the videos later as well. But it's fun to be live and get all those questions. So uh, again, hope you enjoy this and God's peace be with you. <laughs>